Ho, ho, howdy, howdy. Oh, Merry Christmas, Probus. Oh, you got in there a bit early, like. But welcome to But It Was Aliens, the extraterrestrial Christmas comedy podcast where we probe. Jingle what? probes, jingle probes, jingle all the probes. What did I say last Christmas? That we probe Santa? All that Christmas joy? Well, sod all of that, because this week we are getting dark, Baby! That we is me, your host this Yuletide season, Kevin, aka Greybeard, or Santa Beard today, if you will. And alongside me is Mr. Granville Moonwalker. Now, for the case we are covering today, people aren't overly sure as to the actual origin, but it is believed to be pre Christian. That means that potentially, We are talking before the year zero here, an ancient force. But before we get into this ancient Yuletide force, what are your Christmas plans this year? Well, (laughs) normally, well, we wouldn't be drunk, but I live too far away for that shit. Do you? I mean, you can sleep on my hallway floor. Not sure that would go down well. So... I think I'm going to have a quiet Christmas, probably get up, go to the gym at four in the morning. On Christmas Day? Yeah. You. Then go. Oh, that's disgusting. Probably turn up at my mum's, have a shower, wait until everybody's up, have Christmas breakfast, go see my grandparents, and then uh, go on. Christmas porn. Is that your plan, is it? No, I was just reading between the lines of what you were saying. That's where I felt you were going. Definitely not. Do you know what? We have... Definitely not. He's nodding his head as he says that. I don't know about you, but... And I'm sure we've told this story on the podcast before, but I have ruined many a family Christmas by being completely hungover. And indeed, the last time we got stupidly, stupidly, childishly drunk was a Christmas Eve. That it was. Yeah. Never again. Or will it happen again? <laughs> We shall see. I think we say never. Yeah, but what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> I mean, I could potentially skip the gym and just walk to my mum's in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> could crash on the sofa. I got some green froggy shots to pay back. <laughs> in Catholicism. Ribbit, ribbit, bitch. <laughs> so very Christmassy, sir. <laughs> the Christmas frog. <laughs> In Catholicism, St. Nicholas of Myra, also reportedly known as Nicholas of Barry, is the patron saint of children. The saint day for old Saint Nick falls on December the 6th. Saint Nicholas was an early Christian bishop descended from Greece who had a bit of a habit for secret gift giving. The man loved secret Santa, I guess. I was about to say, is this where the term Secret Santa came from? Perhaps. We'll get into the acts of St. Nicholas in a little, but just to fast forward briefly, St. Nicholas would eventually inspire the Dutch Sinterklaas, who would arrive by steamboat and ride over houses on a grey horse. Sinterklaas would in turn lead to the development of the Christmas icon himself, Santa Claus. Santa is, of course, also known as Father Christmas these days because Father Christmas also predates Santa and was a person who loved a Christmas shindig full of booze and entertainment. Ooh, I like this guy. (laughs) Just to add, the Slavic winter wizard, Dead Moroz, whom is important to Russian culture, predates Christianity and is sometimes referred to as a snow demon, though Moroz, or Grandpa Frost, gives gifts to good children. Back then, demon wasn't a bad term. But let's not get sidetracked by all these Christmas figures. We are focusing on St. Nicholas today. Sort of. So technically, I'd say one part of the world or one religion 
not even religion really one group right created a guy or didn't create a guy but had a guy that was doing this kind of stuff and his name was saint nicholas and possibly other cultures were like eh, it's not a bad idea let's have our own saint nick but call him something else so it's just kind of mexican waved itself around the world <laughs> everyone's copy names. old saint nick I mean, it's a possibility, but I feel like um, you may have forgotten that you were quite drawn to Father Christmas there because he liked entertainment and booze. I mean, who doesn't like entertainment and booze? Father Christmas sounds like a good man, doesn't he? That tone of yours. No, 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 no. (laughs) I'm not trying to set you up. (laughs) I swear to you that I can remember. (laughs) Okay. From what we have mentioned so far, I like the sound of Father Christmas. Booze in it. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Yes. What's his entertainment? He likes titties and budgie smugglers. (laughs) (laughs) Genuinely any form of entertainment, like ranging from performances, theatre, Probably to strippers and pole dancing, if they had pole dancing back then. Hookers and beer. Just a good time. This man loved a good time. He loved joy, I like saying, basically. I love this Father Christmas. Yeah, let's bring Father Christmas back. Sod this Santa crap. Who cares about giving gifts? Let's just all get smashed together. Father Christmas, baby! Would you sit on his next, knee? I was about to say, next time we go out, I want that to be your phrase for the night. <laughs> Father Christmas, baby! getting back in fashion have you still got your santa no (laughs) no so just for a little bit of context there folks i whilst i was moonlight as father christmas (laughs) (laughs) at the kind of i would say what americans would know as a mall (laughs) (laughs) Uh, there's a reason we call him kevin the gray beard (laughs) And obviously because of that role, I had a lot of Santa outfits. And when we would go out at Christmas, I'd provide said Santa outfits for all of our friends. And we'd all go out as Santa. Good times. Good times. The amount of Christmas hats I'd go home with. (laughs) That's the weird thing, wasn't it? We'd all go out with one Christmas hat we were wearing and we'd all wake up with like six. Where did they come from? I don't know. But good times. Good times. No comments on the Winter Wizard then? Not just yet. Saint Nicholas had some wondrous abilities. For example, some children were once murdered by a butcher and pickled in brine to sell as pork. Olden times were crazy. The good saints, though, heard about this and swung by the butchers, swiftly resurrecting the children. I'm not doubting the truth of this event, but just focusing on some less godly, but equally godly acts. St. Nicholas's fame also spread for giving people money to escape prostitution and indeed just giving to those less fortunate in general. It's said that St. Nicholas may have come from wealth, but had no need for this himself and just wanted to spread peace and love throughout the world. Interestingly... Old Saint Nicholas is also the saint of merchants, sailors, archers, Amsterdam, unmarried people, and prostitutes. They did not teach me that in school. No. So is so currently Saint Nick is your saint. You probably <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> How do you mean, sir? Are you married? I am not. There you go. Is that is you that probably. all? <laughs> So because I'm not married, I'm a prostitute. <laughs> no, I'm just saying you are. As well as... Oh, so I take money for favours of a sexual nature? Yes. Excellent. Do you have proof? Yes. Provide said proof. Let me get my phone. <laughs> Is that so that you can find evidence or so you can pay me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I'll do it. But but which one is it? <laughs> I've got a chip and pin machine here if you need, you know, just in case. I'm not, I'm not saying I'd do that. But See, I, I need not say any more. You're incriminating yourself. You cannot prove it, sir. I mean... I'm expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't prove a thing. I was going to... 
treat our friend that's gone to America. Do you like nuts at Christmas? I was going to treat him when he came back. So uh, you two could have a good time. I'm busy that night. <laughs> With him. Well, Not that I would, I but don't how don't much would you pay? <laughs> how much is that worth to you? For a joke, 50p. Uh, mm. uh, we've gone way off track. So the butcher that killed the children yeah. and sold them as pork. Yeah, it's quite a popular story. A legend of St. Nick. There are quite a lot out there, and because of time constraints, I've not really outlined many of them. Is it a kind of mismatch and a muddling of Sweeney Todd, the demon barber? I didn't see any reference to that, but I suppose it could be an influence. Because they're probably talking about the butcher that made the pies out of the kids. Or well, by really kids, was it, as people in general? Who knows? Like I said, I didn't see any link in the research but I completed. How- very late last night. I was otherwise engaged. How did he resurrect them? Like, did they come back as children? Oh. Or did they come back as little piglets? Little piggies? No, as children. He resurrected the children. And that little piggy went to market. I'll be brutally... At home. I'll be brutally honest with you. <laughs> this little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. Are you going to finish? No. I feel like you need to finish. That, that, come on. No. Do it! <laughs> Finish! I'll just let your OCD kick in. I'll oh, leave it Oh, like that's so big of an... <laughs> <laughs> so, that account, I'll, I've brazed, I've absolutely blazed past it because there are more believable accounts, like he was always giving money to people and helping out prostitutes, giving them money so they didn't have to do that anymore, which doesn't really strike me as supporting them so much as trying to change them. Fair enough if they didn't want to do that job, but if they did, and that was the career path they'd chosen, if you're the patron saint of prostitutes, support them, whatever their life choices are. But if it's but again, going, great for you for helping them if they didn't want to be doing that and they had to. If he's going to be giving you money to stop being a prostitute, wouldn't you carry on so that he keeps giving you more money to stop? <laughs> he becomes <laughs> one of your customers. <laughs> constantly giving you money not to do it and you just go oh but I'm going to go back out on the street Mm. well here's another 50 (laughs) pence dear I just uh... yeah the the, what I was going to say is that if they've been pickled in brine that's some sort of resurrection isn't it like they pop back out of the (laughs) yeah (laughs) out of the brine Uh, gotta love biblical stories Saint Nicholas Despite rumours of his abilities, was but a man and did indeed one day pass away. The bones of St Nicholas are today enshrined in a church in southern Italy, having been removed from Nicholas's own church in what is now Turkey by a group of merchants without authorisation. People now undertake pilgrimages to the site of the bones of St Nicholas. Anyhow, To summarise what we've learnt so far, St Nicholas was a real figure and a giving person who would save the innocent and give sweets to children. For every ying, there is a yang. I was going to say, I wouldn't say we've covered quite a bit, but we've been going for quite a while now, and one, I've not heard of any aliens. Two, I've not heard of any evil deeds just yet other than the butchering of children and pickling and brine. <laughs> That's, that, that is pretty dark, to be fair. How much darker do you want? <laughs> but you sick fuck. <laughs> Look, it wasn't that I thought that was a light touch. Yeah. It was just the fact that I forgot it happened until I mentioned <laughs> that there wasn't anything. Dirty bastard. So these merchants that took yep. the remains, did they get dealt with? I'm not entirely sure. Again, I would have included that had I have seen it in the um, very quick Google I did last night. Were they paid by the church to uh, go and take these bones? No, so they didn't have authorization from the Pope, for example, and they just went and took them. But what were they going to do with them? So did they go and take them from there and take them back to Italy? Or were they selling them? So they probably... We've we've got the bones of St. Nick. Come on, have a look. There's a couple of possibilities. 
maybe they felt because he was the patron saint of merchants or sailors and whatnot, they wanted to go and take care of them and worship them themselves. Or maybe they thought they'd bring luck, bring money. Maybe it was nefarious and they wanted to take them to where they were based to bring in people who were going on those pilgrimages. What if the actual bones in the church in south southern Italy are mm-hmm. not the actual bones of St. Nicholas? Oh, they've been verified. By me. How? <laughs> Could be like a mix of human and coyote bones or something like that. Could be. But yeah, by all accounts, this was a legit person and he's recorded to have died there and his bones been buried there. Uh, admittedly, someone could have made that up like several thousand, several thousand years ago. Um, <laughs> not quite that long ago. It, back when the dinosaurs were around, someone could have made that up. Fred Flintstone, <laughs> whilst he was on his way to work one day. No, 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 that's what accounts suggest, though. You could never really, 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 really be sure, I guess. That is true. But I'd just like to remind you, I promised darkness. We've already had a little bit. We're going to get some more. But remember, it's Christmas. Christmas is a special occasion. And on special occasions, we take a break from aliens. That's true. I'm just saying, though. (laughs) But where are the aliens? (laughs) (laughs) Hel, daughter of Loki in Norse mythology, is the queen of the underworld. Hel, of course, presides over this domain as appointed by Odin. It's not really known as to whether Hel became the personification of the place of the same name, Hel, or was always a figure. Hel, according to the Old Norse textbook Prose Edda, was actually originally said to provide board and lodging to those sent to her, those who died of sickness or old age. Considering who Hel's parents were, as with her two siblings, Hel was linked to prophecies of mischief and disaster, hence why Hel was sent to the underworld. Hel gradually developed into a cold and detached figure, though not specifically evil. Meanwhile, Hel is also known as Hela. Hel later developed into the Christian notion of Hel, with Hel's father being trickster god Loki and Hel's mother being the giantess Angaboda, the distress bringer. Can you imagine the children? With a bloodline like that, it can't be good. Hel had a son. The distress bringer. Indeed. This is where you are going to tell me that Hel had a son. Mm -hmm. The name of this son is Jesus El (laughs) Savior. (laughs) No. But it could actually be Lucifer himself. The light bringer. Have you been reading my notes? No, but... (laughs) (laughs) Have you seen the next set? I actually haven't. (laughs) I will even just turn my laptop to no, you. No, it's fine. I believe you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's because of the name Distress Bringer. So... Yeah, so that could have turned into Lightbringer. I see mm-hmm. your angle. I mean, I'll be honest, that's not entirely accurate. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love Norse shit? Vikings, baby! But I mean... I'd love to cover something about Ragnar Lofbrook one day. Are we... We're not destined to be exactly like our parents though so well nature nurture there's a little bit of a little bit of destiny in there yeah but a little bit of upbringing there is the trick the the trickster and the distress bringer yeah but imagine that that's two probably not great parents yeah but what if you were the complete opposite you'd still be brought up by those people there's a good chance Mm. a little bit might rub off no fair enough let's find out if that's accurate Hell's son shows up in towns the day before St. Nicholas Day, December the 5th. This day is known by some as Krampusnatch. (laughs) St. Nicholas, you see, has a counterpart. Say hello to Hell and Hell's son. Just got a little picture here for you. ah. That's not what I was expecting to see. Uh Uh-huh. So in front, oh, sorry, my eyes have gone straight towards Hell's tits. 
<laughs> I'd like to add, the nipples are covered by hair. Why is it? You see a whole boob, except the nipple, you ain't seen a boob. If you see just the nipple and no boob around it, you've seen a boob. That's a titty, son. I do not know. I didn't make the rules. But I have a picture here with a throne. You do, yes. Which is quite high up. And an old looking woman on the throne. How dare you? Hell is spry. Um, her hair, like Greybeard said, is covering her nipples. God. This is a black and white. But to be fair, it looks like depiction, she's but wearing you can tell that's grey, anyway. can't you? <laughs> like she's not naked. She's just wearing see through clothing. In the background, there seems to be loads of monks, maybe? Mm. I'd, I'd just go for figures there. But, yeah. And in front of her is her son, who is kneeling. But he doesn't look like Krampus from any of the films that you may have seen. He looks more like the god Thor from the comic books. Yeah. With the helmet, with the wings. Well, then, if you think about the, the bloodline. Yep. And instead of having Mjolnir... He has a spear in his hand. And a horse. I was about to say, and a horse by his side. And he's kneeling to his mother. So maybe he's gone out and done some evil deeds. Well, as you've pieced together, that son is Krampus. Saint Nicholas and Krampus pretty much show up together. And I genuinely can't find anything reliable to explain why, other than them just linking to ancient winter solstice celebrations. <laughs> Regardless, Saint Nicholas is a joy. Saint Nicholas roams towns and villages giving sweets and goodies to good children, literally leaving little presents in the shoes of well-behaved children. But what of the bad? The day before, on December the 5th, Krampus smacks these little bastards with a birch branch. Kapow! Krampus leaves a rod in the shoes of naughty children. On the plus side, I suppose if you don't get twatted the day before, you know that you're getting a gift on the 6th. If the children are really naughty though, like really naughty, they vanish. Poof. It's believed that Krampus stuffs them into his sack and takes them back to their lair to torture and possibly eat the children. It's judgment day for children, baby! I was about to say, after that... Yes? All the kids get a gift. All the good ones. Like, even the bad ones. Well, the rod. I, I I'll explain, <laughs> yeah. So, okay, you get twatted. But you get a steel rod. That's a weapon. As a kid, all you wanted... I don't know about you. <laughs> Speaking from personal experience here. <laughs> all I wanted was a sword. To do what with? Pretend that I was a Ninja Turtle. Or that I was He-Man. Pretend? Or Lino from and, Thundercats. And how would you have gone about pretending that? Just to remember you've got younger sisters. I didn't at the time. So I would have just gone when out into the garden. When did the urge to have these weapons cease? <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't! <laughs> I go around your family's house and I see your sister's just covered in open wounds. <laughs> I am a saint to my sisters. I am a samurai to my sisters. <laughs> no, but didn't you want weapons as a kid? I bought them. Well, there you go. <laughs> This isn't about me. <laughs> but no, I just wanted, like, the uh, Thundercat sword. See, so. I didn't I didn't really... Oh, I'm probably worse than you thinking about it. I don't oh, know what no. you mean, probably. <laughs> so whilst you wanted Thundercat sword, I just wanted a real sword. <laughs> I didn't want to pretend to be anyone. <laughs> and what were you going to do with that real sword, Kevin? Sword? <laughs> sword what? Whatever the fuck I want! I don't know, I never got that far. I was like, I just want a sword. And when did that urge stop? When I bought a sword. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you had one. I did, yeah. Where's that now? Waiting. <laughs> 
behind <laughs> I reach behind my back and pull out a giant sword. sword. <laughs> By the power of Greybeard! So, yeah, they get... I was about to say yes, they get a rod. So, essentially, they get a weapon. They can hit any bullies that decide to bully them. They can be mean little shits to uh, the good kids that got toys, and they didn't. But... If you're really bad, he takes you off and possibly eats you. So I suppose you wouldn't want to twat anyone with that stick that you got given the year before, would you? Not a great idea, but just in case. What if you were bad enough that you got multiple sticks? I mean, could you fight him with those? I think he only gave you one rod, whereas he had the stick that he'd twat you with. But I mean, what if every year you were just bad enough that you got given a rod? So you could you essentially build line. an arsenal. Of rods how many can you hold at once how uh, many rods can you hold at once so you can throw them at him you'd have to be pretty good at handling rods though wouldn't you you could be so surrounded by your them, ability and you could grab a rod <laughs> crack him in the face with one throw it grab the next one like an eternal line of rods that you could have at will <laughs> you could have a rod at will I can't decide whether my favourite slang for penis is <laughs> rod, hog, or piece. So it's not tallywhacker. No, it's too lengthy. You may think if St Nicholas and Krampus rock up to your village, you're shit out of luck. The naughty children are getting rods or getting twatted. Some villagers were not even this lucky, though. Rather than St Nicholas and Krampus... Saint Nicholas would rock up with five of these little big bastards in tow. That's right, Krampus Squad. Imagine the havoc a Krampus gang could create. I don't know whether all these Krampus, Krampi, were Hell's kids or what. But if you see these bastards coming towards you, run. Coincidentally, we will cover more on that later. Was this Krampus, like Krampus gang, his best mates? Well. At the very least, they're associates, aren't they, if he's rocking up with them. But I would put it to you that is St. Nicholas really such a lovely person if he's rocking up with a gang of Krampus to beat the shit out of children? What if he's the leader? Exactly. He's the ringleader. He's a dirty Krampus boy. Krampus is his second in line. He's the muscle. Which Krampus, if there's five? King Krampus. <laughs> King of the Krampi! <laughs> the other Krampus just take on the mantle. But there's one. There can so only be one. There's one who's his second in command and the rest are just... How do you tell which one is the one? He's got one massive nut, like a space hopper. I was going to say, there actually isn't... or well, there is a Krampus. There's the one. But the rest literally dress up to help do his job. Ooh. So, so <laughs> essentially, they are all Krampus. But he just can't be bothered to go around to all, like, 50 houses. And he's like, right, you 10 go over there. You 10 go over there. You 10 go over there. Sorry, who's commanding? Is it Head Krampus or is it Saint Nick? Head Krampus. Saint Nick's told him the area he's got to go and do the whack. <laughs> so he's still and, not a great person, is he? And then Krampus is like, right, sis area, boys. This is you where it's going down, house. sons. You take that one. They all dress in the same Krampus uniform. And then all the kids are like, Krampus hit me. And then because he's hit, what, 50 kids all at the same time, they think he's all magical. And really, it's just 50 men. What does Krampus look like? Krampus is most often reported as a hairy half man, half goat with a serpent's tongue. A lengthy serpent's tongue. Have you ever fed a giraffe? Their tongues are freaky as shit. They're long, strong, and black, and they literally wrap around things. Krampus has a tongue like that, only even longer. Krampus has one human foot and one cloven foot. Imagine trying to buy shoes. Of course, I have some pictures of Krampus for you, taken from popular culture, Mr. Moonwalker, if you'd like to describe these briefly, but that tongue is truly a horrific concept. Well. Yes? You know those old, timey pictures you see of the devil? Yep. That's exactly what this looks like. 
Uh-huh. The half goat, half man hybrid. His tongue is long, but it's mm-hmm. not black. And it looks like he's got a kid over a... Uh, no, he's trying to stuff a kid into his sack. Yeah. Well, the other kid is just sat there playing with a bowl of apples, <laughs> just watching. So what I couldn't work out is whether that is another kid or if that's a doll. That's a kid. He's got the half... He's got the one clone put Sorry, in the one human. He's got the half. The half. <laughs> he's got the half. <laughs> his half <laughs> is running slow motion in the background trying to save the day. So he has the half bloody goat's hoof. Bloody and the goat's half human hoof. foot. Mm-hmm. But that human foot has some long ass nails. It does, doesn't like, it? Yeah. He has, needs to trim those bad boys. Agreed. And then. Poor foot hygiene, sir. <laughs> What, what, sir? So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Below, <laughs> Kev has found a picture of myself and put a goat's head on it. Whoa! <laughs> Explain what you mean, sir. So there is a muscly body here <laughs> with a massive dong <laughs> and a backpack on. <laughs> It's Krampus. What are you talking about? Uh, I don't know where I was going for you to take that picture. <laughs> Hiking. And then nude. <laughs> and then stick a goat's head on it. Uh. No, I kid. It literally looks like a prop, just your typical bodybuilder type body. Someone's drawn this. Is there a name in the bottom there? I couldn't really. I mean, you could zoom in, but. Looks like someone called Tuny. Shout out to Tuny. Yeah, for your wang art. Bodybuilder Krampus with With goat's head, tongue sticking out. Down by his. Yeah, literally in the middle of his chest and a big dong. His wang is out. You can truly see his piece. And he looks literally like he's just posing there. I mean, he could slap someone with that hog, couldn't he? Krampus piece. Your description of the old-timey card is really apt. I don't think I've put this in the notes, but people used to send these to each other, like in olden times. Pictures of Krampus at Christmas. (laughs) Or Yuletide, rather. Krampus cards. Yeah, literally was a thing. Rather than a happy Christmas, you'd get a Krampus card. Win. Whilst you may give Santa cookies, Krampus likes schnapps. This made me think of my own upbringing. In the UK... Like in many parts of the world, it's tradition to leave out a treat for Santa. Usually cookies and milk. In my house, my parents used to leave whiskey out for Santa. Occasionally a can of extra strength beer, special brew, but usually whiskey. That bastard must have been drink driving Rudolph. Did Santa have any unusual tastes in your household? No. No? Just milk. But I remember when I was a little kid and I left some cookies and stuff out for Santa and went to bed. Yeah, did he eat them? I came back downstairs and my mum had told me I'd just missed him and he'd finished the cookies off the plate. He was quick. But he didn't want the milk. He didn't want the milk? Is <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> he not a fan of milk? <laughs> and then I just went back up to bed. He'd... He'd probably had too much whiskey earlier in the night, to be fair. And then a year later, I found out that um, my mum ate the cookies. <laughs> How did you find that out? Did you, like, get them fingerprint analysed, the plate or something? Because I found out Santa isn't real. That doesn't mean you know Santa that Santa isn't you're... real, kids. No! Santa shh, isn't... shh, shh. Don't tell people. I had to find out the hard way. <laughs> I don't actually because I had older sisters obviously Mm. I don't really remember ever truly believing in Santa and this is going to be awful because one of my sisters listens to this but I used to pretend that I believed in Santa to (laughs) like satisfy my parents (laughs) genuinely what sort of kid was I (laughs) I didn't want to upset them. (laughs) So I was the oldest child. So I think I might have been seven or eight when I knew that it wasn't a thing. I might have even been younger, to be fair. And um, literally, just after that, I just didn't care. 
didn't you know when some people literally get broken that they find out these things which is really weird that they get broken yeah, they find these yeah. things out just didn't care i was like oh okay so i was just like oh can i have this for christmas but didn't get it i didn't get it <laughs> best christmas present i ever got was the legend of zelda ocarina of time on the n64 oh what a game i was so happy i think i got that the day it came out my granddad went and got it for me well i list i I wish my grandparents were as thoughtful as yours (laughs) (laughs) to be fair i'm joking i don't think my family could have afforded that that's a lot of money back then it just reminded me of um, a Christmas story. So do you remember, and you might not, because this is like, the only reason I remember it is because I had older sisters, but New Kids on the Block. <laughs> <laughs> you really choked. I haven't even told it yet. New Kids on the Block, go on. Yeah, so they were a massive boy band in like the early 90s. We're talking Backstreet Boys, NSYNC style, massive, the biggest band in the world kind of thing. Both my sisters loved new kids on the block and they both loved like the main singery guy who was called jordan i believe i have no idea and oh, i wish i could remember the other one's names because um my parents obviously knew that my sisters loved this band and they asked my older sister <laughs> which member of the band was each of their favorites <laughs> And my oldest sister and my younger sister both liked the same one. So she told my parents that she liked the main one and my younger sister liked someone else. <laughs> it's a Christmas morning. My younger sister gets the wrong one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> That's so evil. It's so brilliant. <laughs> Genius. All right, let's get back on track. <sighs> <laughs> I'd have done the same. <laughs> Krampus is ancient, but to this day, people celebrate Krampusnatch. On Krampusnatch, mainly in Europe... People would get drunk and dress up as devils, chasing and scaring people through the streets. The Catholic Church suppressed this practice. Krampus was basically banned in both the 1100s and the 1930s. You know it's got to be bad for the church to ban it. But as I alluded to, this tradition has had a bit of a resurgence over recent years. Hundreds of these fuckers will all go out in their best Krampus costume. Children will see them from a distance and think that they're Santa, only to crap their pants as they get close and realise that Krampus is running towards them, scaring them. There are parades, which aren't too bad, but the most scary part is when strangers charge at you in these horrific outfits. People literally attack and whip you. It would be a great cover to cause mischief, and you never really know who's under that costume, or whether it's a costume at all. By whipping them, <laughs> yeah, is a a playful little rah, you little scoundrel, or is it ah fuck you? <laughs> Actually, whipping. So we're gonna get into that in a little bit. But it really depends on which Krampus you encounter. (laughs) Because I'm not going to lie. I will fight a Krampus. I will choke out a Krampus. I wonder if anyone's ever been arrested for fighting back. I will bear hug a Krampus. (laughs) And make them cry. (laughs) Some parents even arrange these days for their children, basically having Krampus scare and smack them. I've got a quick video of Krampus Snatch for you from Amy's Crypt, just to give you a feel of the Krampus run. Okay, we are gonna watch a Krampus run. Uh, see, I can't tell. Okay, he's really hitting with that whip. 
Already? Well, there was one to the shin. <laughs> <laughs> That's not where you want to get hit, to be fair. No. To be fair, it looks quite playful. Yeah, all right. At the moment. At the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I want a Krampus costume, by the way. I hope you've got a few grand spare then. You have a look at these costumes. You're welcome, Amy. I'm not quite sure how the fuck they confuse Krampus from a distance with depending on the outfit obviously. okay with that outfit I can see but with the rest of them no Santa is in a red suit with white these Krampus just look like hairy demons I just want to rock out with this music mm. <laughs> Gonna kill you. Okay, someone's carrying hell there. Or Hella. These are some pretty fucking sweet costumes, though. People go all out. We should move to, like, Germany. I want one of these costumes. Okay. Are you saying attack or what? Sounds all fun for now, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. For now. I suppose you... It just depends if you've got a dickhead under that costume, really. Precisely. Or the real Krampus. Mm, to be fair, you got one of them that looks like he's leading them. A lot of people are just walking down, walking down the street in their Krampus costumes. Mm-hmm. Just having a good time. Yeah, giving people a little, little whip here and there, whip to the shins, just a playful one. What's going on? Um, literally, still people just walking. One Krampus. Oh, he's found his target. Murder! Death! Gonna kill you! Okay, this is still... Not that bad. Just one Krampus giving everyone, like, a little love tap. <laughs> oh, he got a good... They're seeking them out now. <clears throat> okay, now you're fucking with a Krampus. It's your own fault. Yeah. <clears throat> See? Okay, there's a few, like, harder hits here. <laughs> but, again... The tone has changed. Yeah, it's your own fault. You're out there starting on them. They're allowed to defend themselves. Yeah. I, I thought that was quite playful so not too bad it got a little bit more vicious at the end but not too bad yeah in the end to what i saw where yeah. it told me to stop oh, yeah. yeah but i mean you're going after them and agitating them you're looking for that right. at that point so like you're into s and m you're one of you're one of those it, i mean it's all light hard isn't it oh don't hit me don't hit me oh fucking hit me don't hit me yeah i've got another minute long one for you here I warn you, this one is legit vicious and people are reportedly injured. Would okay. you like to check this one out? Yep, let's have a look. And obviously I'll link these in the show notes. Okay. Krampus run. Ooh. These Krampus are like, oh, god damn. <laughs> <laughs> It's like these Krampus have, like, sticks. Mm-hmm. And they're proper whipping them. 
Oh, it's down on the floor. Oh, oh, okay. That's not on. You just kicked him. Okay, F this, Krampus. It's, uh, it sounds slaughtery at this point. I'm fighting these, Krampi. But how many of them are there? Well, it's only three. Oh, you can hear the whips. Yeah. I say whips, it's it's literally a beating. I'm, st- I'm choking one of these fools, knocking them to the ground, stealing their what, stick, and I'm what, going... What are the other two doing? Whilst, I'm going to town. <laughs> so whilst you're doing that to one of them, do you think the other two are going to stand by and watch? They're not going to have a choice. <laughs> Very confident in your ability there, sir. Son, if you whip me, you better be prepared for the... I thought you liked being whipped. ...for the attack. So yeah, you thought it was all all light-hearted, but damn, son. That other one like, was. Some people take this far. It's like anything, though, isn't it? You do get those yeah, idiots and just go too far. If you're going to put yourself out there to like go and seek out these Krampi, Krampuses, you better you be call prepared. Them, this might happen to you. Stick with the crowds. Even so. Yeah, that was that was genu- like jokes aside. That was genuinely nasty, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm choking one of these fools. <laughs> As we near our conclusion, I'm just going to share that Krampus is not the only associate of St. Nicholas. There are others we can examine in future episodes. Underpants names? No, but might as well be. And I gotta work. Well, come now. Work for underpants. Oh, damn it, I can't help myself. I know. I have one final detail. Why won't stop till we have underpants? Yum, tum, yum, tum, I have one final detail. Stage one. Hello, out the pants. Stop it. One final detail. Stage two. Before we close. Originally, before the tail got twisted. Stage three. <laughs> I knew you couldn't leave it. Perfect. Before the tail got twisted, Krampus didn't only come for children. That's right, Krampus liked them old too. Perhaps that explains the Krampus runs. Maybe the real Krampus is in there amongst it all, doing what Krampus does, completely unnoticed by the wider world. As in, so would he take adults that were bad then as well? Yeah, yeah. Beat this shit out of him and take whoever he wants, essentially. If you're bad, Krampus is coming for your ass. Why were we never warned of Krampus as kids? He doesn't like boats. We were visited by Father Christmas. Get out that whiskey, baby! Rum for me. I wonder who his uh, mother associates were. Are they all like... So I haven't detailed it, and after I saw a couple of names, I stopped reading because I didn't want to spoil potential future Christmas episodes. But there are several. Okay, I will stop. And some of them might be quite interesting just based on their names. Stop trying to figure them out just so it doesn't ruin. I'm not, this is not what they're called, but imagine like the Christmas dog, Christmas cat. Oh my days. But not Christmas, like other, and not necessarily nice people as well. Like a demon puma. Some, yeah, that sort of thing. There's other Christmas figures, shall we say. Sweet. He's got a wolf, like the black shuck. (laughs) Ha ha ha! Happy Christmas! In Christmas summary, we've covered Saint Nicholas, a wonderful human who gave gifts to and helped those less fortunate in life. Saint Nicholas was the patron saint of children, merchants, Amsterdam, and prostitutes, amongst other things. Saint Nicholas had a counterpart. Spawned from the daughter of famous Norse gender-fluid trickster god Loki and a giantess, the queen of the underworld, Hell. Somehow, Hell's son Krampus got mixed up with Saint Nicholas and they begun working together, with Krampus visiting towns on December the 5th, the night before Saint Nicholas. Krampus would beat naughty children and stuff the naughtiest in his sack, possibly eating them. Krampus is a hairy half-goat, half-man hybrid with a giant disturbing tongue. You also saw the hog of Krampus. Christmas hog, son. 
<laughs> to this day, people dress as Krampus and go on Krampus runs, attacking the general public, though they usually keep their peace covered. Is the real Krampus joining these runs? I want to do a Krampus run. As a Krampus. I hope you don't take it as far as some nah. of those folks. I just want to wear one of those Krampus suits. I don't know how it would They're go down awesome. where we live. We'd probably end up arrested or hung. We should definitely talk. Probably tour. bottled. It depends if you were... Yeah, bottled is a good channel over here. Yeah. a Krampus run, essentially. Or if you were just in costume. I think if you're just in costume, loads of people would just want to take a picture of you. Yeah. That's pretty cool. But as soon as you swing that but whip yeah, once... yeah, if you're swinging that whip once, that's mate, a, that's expect a, a bottle. Town fight right there. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I, I'd really like to know how St. Nicholas and Krampus got associated. Like, were they... Did they both go to the pub one night and St. Nicholas was like, oh, I could really do with someone to come and sort these naughty ones out while I'm giving the gifts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like how do Maybe you put an ad out in the... Uh... <laughs> put an ad out where? <laughs> on the on the stone slab? Yeah. And Krampus was like, oh, I'll do that. Oh, I could... <laughs> What, I can eat some children? Yeah, why not? Give me a rod. Eat some kids. Every time you say <laughs> rod. Krampus, baby. baby. Christmas Krampus. Did you enjoy the Christmas hog? Yeah, I know you did. Are you saying that it was Krampus? Is Krampus a real paranormal entity? I guess is what I'm asking. Bit of a stretch, I know. But often, these olden legends are based on real events. There could have been some evil bastard yang to the ying of St. Nicholas. What say you, sir? I mean, it's Christmas. It is Christmas. I'm saying it's Krampus. Baby! <laughs> I was not expecting that! <laughs> Krampus, baby! That is my gift to you all on this Christmas episode. Well, I'm saying it's Krampus. Simply because I want Krampus to be real. But to be fair, it's not. Whoa! It's not no, Krampus. you can't take it back! Um, what the piss? You can't do that. I would love, I honestly would, but I don't believe in Santa Claus. So. You miserable prick. Saint Nick. Although he was a, hu a human person, cookies. a real person, I don't think he was the Saint Nick that we have all grown up knowing I, as I mean, children. I mean, he was. So his counterpart, Krampus, I don't believe is real. I wish he was, because if he did look like that, he'd look pretty damn cool. Well, I mean, you're giving me a gift and then you've just taken it back and shit on my hand. Well, that's two gifts. You consider shit a gift? If I gave it to you. In I that never said case, it was a good gift. Uh, I've got a little gift for you. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy, but you're only allowed to open it when you're home. Thing is, sniff can, it as if you can guess can... what it is. <laughs> so, I play cards with. Uh, you do, yes. My other half and her family. Yes. And sometimes I'll lay a card and I'll go, "Oh, here's a gift for someone." And they'll look at me and they'll go. Oh, that's not a gift. So I never said it was a good one. Even if you get a shit gift, it's still a gift. So, I if I'm giving you, you shit, misery, <laughs> that is a gift. You will accept that shit on both accounts. Yeah. No, this isn't Krampus. I wish it was, but Swine. no. Well, where do I start with this one? I just wanted to bring you some Christmas joy this week, and this tale to me is sheer Christmas joy my favourite Christmas film is Bad Santa great film mhm mm <laughs> that moment Merman, Merman. oh <laughs> what's I don't know how to be um, what is what's the name of the guy that plays Billy the, Bob Thornton no his partner uh, the, in crime the um, gentleman of lesser height yes yeah I don't know his name but there's the moment where the little kid <laughs> I know where you're going. Punches him in, in the, the nuts. Yeah. And he falls over like a temp. <laughs> yeah. 
And then he punches the kid and in the nuts. Yeah, just that moment where he falls is like the best thing in the world. Cracks me up every time. But yeah, I could have told you all about Santa Claus, but to me, Krampus is just better. Krampus gets smashed on schnapps and whips people. The true Christmas spirit. Obviously, it's hard to say that things like this are real, but equally, there are probably some horrid bastards in the world who use this as cover for the nefarious ways. So in a sense, Krampus is real. Am I saying that it was Krampus? Yes and no. I'm not saying that Krampus is a paranormal entity, but I am saying that Krampus exists and there's probably some sick bastards like we saw in a video who just want to cause misery and beat the shit out of people and that is probably equally as horrifying. Go down the wrong dark alley, bam, you've been Krampused. You Krampusy. <laughs> Any final thoughts before we close? <laughs> oh, I'm going to call everyone a Krampusy now. <laughs> oh, Kev, stop being Krampusy. <laughs> That's a wrap for today, folks. Thank you for listening to... But it was aliens. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Oh. That was a little bit Green Giant, wasn't it? Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. Yeah. If you'd like to listen to more but have already completed us, well, you could start New Game Plus, my friend, but there is another way. Over on patreon.com forward slash but it was aliens, each month we publish a bonus episode, a side probe into more widely paranormal tales such as Krampus. Over on Patreon... You can find our take on Rasputin, Tokoloshi, Reincarnated Twins, and the Bell Witch. You can dip your toes... Toes? <laughs> dip Either. your toes? You can dip your toes into our salty waters for approximately a fiver a month, and you can opt out at any time. We use that money to cover our costs and bring you more. We also sell a little selection of merchandise over at budditwasaliens.co.uk. Buy yourself a mug and drink from us. Outside of that, if you have episode suggestions, you can get them to us on the Twitter at... On the Twitter! Why'd you have to wait for me to continue and then jump in? At But It Was Aliens. And you can join our Facey Mc Facebook group called extraterrestrial towers that's all for today happy christmas you filthy animals and until next time operation bobble hat can you get drunk on christmas spirit the truth is up there Ooh. hash tag probe. 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 i bet we could get drunk on christmas spirit Always. Merry Christmas, probers! Ho, ho, ho! Green Giant! Hello, probers. Now, we don't normally do this, but it's Christmas. And this year, I decided I was going to buy Greybeard a present. And I'm now going to give him the present, and he's going to open it live on the podcast so graybeard what if you would like to that? open this present <laughs> what and hold it up to the camera as well once you have ah it's gonna pop uh, is it okay okay <laughs> <laughs> So, Probers, what I've done is... Oh, my gosh. If you remember our very first episode, we probed David Huggins. I have purchased one of his prints for Greybeard. Now, uh. all week, 
<laughs> I've been trying to get a frame for that, and I've gone through three different frames, and it doesn't fit a single one. Oh so at gosh. some point you are going to get a frame for that and it's got to go up <laughs> on a wall somewhere. <laughs> oh shit. So happy <laughs> Christmas son. Come round and see that. <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas Greybeard oh, and nice. Merry Christmas Provers. Oh. Tag <laughs> Pro Thank you.